So I'm working on a pretty big job this week on my Nissan Murano, and I thought it'd be a great time to show folks exactly how a camshaft sensor really works. Uh, people might not know, might not know its purpose, how it gets its information. So I'll just do a short video showing you how that works. These are the two camshaft sensors that are on the Nissan Murano. Uh, the one in between my thumb and forefinger, that goes on the front of the motor facing the radiator. This other one goes on the back of the motor facing the firewall. And the way these work, uh, they insert here, so this part is the deepest part uh, inside the cylinder head or inside the uh, valve cover area. And that actually reads off a metal disc, which I'll, uh, I'll show you next. Okay. So if you look up here on this side, there's a circular opening with a, with a screw hole there. This sensor slides right into there. As you might be able to notice, there are some notches here in the end of this camshaft. That's what you're looking at. You're looking at the end of the intake camshaft. <clears throat> it's your intake side, that's your exhaust side. I know that because this is the intake valley and the intake comes in on this side. So as this intake camshaft spins, it causes these gaps, uh, or you might even call them high and low spots on this metal disc here, to pass directly in front of that sensor. And the way that sensor works is that sensor can tell when there's either a high spot here or there's a gap. And as it spins at thousands of RPMs, it can actually sense these blank spots. And the computer knows, by the variations in the signal, exactly the position of this camshaft as it spins. Because it knows the position of the camshaft, it can also extrapolate the position of the crankshaft. Although there is another sensor for the crankshaft. I can just show you the location of that real quick. Let's see, so... We're on the front of the motor now, and the position of the crankshaft sensor is right down here. This is right where the transmission and engine meet on this vehicle. So if you're looking for the crankshaft sensor for some reason, that's where that is. And that works on a similar, similar concept. So now that I've given you a general overview, uh, I'll show you how this actually spins uh, when it's in the engine. Obviously, this is a very slow version of it. This is exactly how the camshaft would spin right in front of that sensor. There's a very tight clearance there. And so you can see how the camshaft sensor can be a sensitive device, uh, given its, its, its hot conditions, oily conditions in there. Um, but here you go. That's exactly how a camshaft sensor works, in case, just in case you were ever wondering.